Cablerator is a tool made by Sergei Kritsky, who is someone that has been uh, near and dear to us as an operative and a tester. So getting started with this tool after purchase and installation, you just enable it in your add-ons and you're good to go. As we see here under the settings, the hotkey to use it is Shift Alt and C. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So we press Shift Alt and C and we can create a cable. And basically by clicking one point and clicking the second point, you can create a cable that will just happen. And then you can just press S to adjust the width. You can press D and best of all, you can just press Q and immediately begin creating another cable. We can press D to adjust the tension, press Q to just add another cable, press D, press Q, and just make another cable and it's just like that it's just very short work so whenever it comes to using cable Raider, uh the moment i saw it i immediately saw its worth as far as what it could do to um you know hard surface workflows and just quickly adding cable to a scene and also uh, creating reusable cable assets that are able to be quickly strewn around places if you're the type of guy to build a configuration like you're seeing me do here that you're actually quite fond of and would like to reuse so that's where it ties into current events so now that i've done a couple of cables we'll just press uh i believe left mouse click just in a neutral area to go ahead and apply and with all these cables we can of course go in and modify them because they are just curves that's really all there is to it uh, what i do want to do is look at this from the side maybe numpad orthographic uh, numpad 5 and we'll tap into edit mode and we'll just B draw a box around these and we'll come back to that so the first thing I want to do is save my scene so we will just control click power save and we'll just call this cable demo this moment brought to you by power save and we'll shift right click to just drop our cursor there and just add a plane and we'll just alt X to just bring up the hops mirror and we're going to actually choose with alt we're going to scroll through until we find bisect and by bisecting this we can just grab this point and just control click mark in order to bevel this and I'm just pressing 2 in order to reset the profile I don't know I'm just superstitious sometimes I do it sometimes I don't but it's not even necessary but we'll go under profile and we'll just give this a custom profile so what I'll do is mark this custom profile as a vector first and we'll just start off just drawing some points, just making an interesting piece, uh, letting the bevel do all of the work. Sometimes it's tough to create a point in between. If I wanted to, we could be very strict with our things and get things to line up by copying and pasting numbers here, but for sake of tutorial, we'll just keep it quick. So with this piece, I can just press Alt W to switch over to Hops tool. And with this dot, we can just grab this profile and just play with things. And that's really all there is to it. In fact, we can lower the amount of segments because it's not needed. We actually only need that many, 10. So after having only 10 segments, we're good to go. Now we can just add modifier and just use screw, except that's the wrong axis. So we'll press X to change it, X to change again, until we actually get the axis that we want. And with this button, we can modify our profile, just rotate it. And still with Hops Tool active, we can just grab the dot and just change the outcome of what this shape is actually going to become. If we like this profile, we can actually right click the dot, which will bring up the little mini help, uh, mini modifier panel for uh, the dot. And there's actually an option to save your profile. So we'll just save this profile. I'll just save this as profile 17 real quick. And with this shape made, now we're ready to go. So. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to duplicate this and look at this from front mode and really get it oriented and rotated the way that I want. And then we're just going to apply rotation. Actually, first we'll convert visual geometry to mesh, then we'll apply rotation and apply scale. And if we were to select all of these at the same time and with one of these active and tab into edit mode, we can now press Alt Shift C in order to basically add connectors. And now connectors have been added to all of them. So if we just choose to press S, we can actually choose how far we want to offset them. Uh, if we want to offset the connector, we can just do that by pressing D. And so with that, we are complete. So we don't want to really tempt anything. We don't need to press A to flip or anything. So with that, we now have our cables or 
we have our connector selected. I'm going to press num I'm going to press regular period and change my pivot point to be individual origins. And we're just going to scale each of these down till they're a reasonable size. Doesn't matter about the cables. And we'll just go under operations and just hit this with the auto smooth. So I'm just going to shift click this and we'll just roll the wheel back until we find something that's agreeable. And it looks like we are stuck inside of auto smooth for some reason. All right, kind of weird. I'll check into that. But anyways, we'll select all of our cables here and press Q. And we need one of these to be our active selection. So that way we can choose adjust curve. We don't want to make it the curve object because that'll mess things up. But with this, we now have created these interesting array of cable connectors. And that's really just how easy it is to actually get started with this tool. And I'm only really scratching the surface with it. Like there's so much more to this tool than what I'm showing here. I mean, you're also able to draw on top of surfaces, which also plan to be showing in future content as well. But I just want to give like a very cursory overview to some of the improvements that have came to Cable Raider since it came out and how you can just get started with it to create something very interesting.